So welcome to Guru Chaga 1136. And uh, you'll have to tell us if when you come down here, this car is still here. Because this has been here the entire time we have been here. So now we're going to go check out the building. Um, it's actually composed of a bunch of different units. And so we're going to go and uh, go check it out. The building actually has a garage. Now we didn't have a car while we were here. So we don't know for sure how that whole situation works, if it comes with the apartment rental, we haven't even asked. So we'll have to ask the property manager, David, a little later on. For now, we'll actually go inside and check things out. And obviously each apartment has its own buzzer, so you can buzz the apartment. The elevator's really nice for, obviously, taking your luggage up when you first get here and when you leave. We like to take the stairs, but you can also take the elevator, it's just a little slow. It's probably faster to walk, but if you want, you can take the elevator. And the apartment complex actually opens into this courtyard area. Uh, just one building, I think it has either nine or ten units. You can see the garage on this side, where people can actually park cars, and there's the pool. And then there's actually a laundry room on the back down here, and they'll do your laundry for you. Uh, we actually found a place that's a little cheaper close by, but if you want them to do it, they'll do it for you right here. So let's go up to our apartment. Now this is our apartment, but uh, we're actually going to go up to the roof first and then we'll come back and check out the apartment. This has actually been one of our favorite places uh, while we've been here staying at the Terraza Palermo. It's just been really cool to come up here and hang out and get a suntan and just enjoy the sounds of the city without being like inundated by it. It's kind of quiet here, which is actually really nice. I mean, quiet by Buenos Aires city standards. So, and as you can tell just from looking around, the view from here is awesome. So if you're looking for a good place to hang out in the middle of the city and get some sun without being right in the middle of everything, this is really a good place to do it. Let's go down and check out our apartment. So here we are at our apartment. I'll open the door here. So welcome to our place, come on in. Here we are in our apartment and our very trusty working table here. And obviously we have a TV, full internet uh, connection, full cable on the TV and um, the ultra modern and mildly comfy couch. So this is, we really haven't watched much TV being here, but a couple times we've watched TV, we've sat on the couch and watched TV right here. And we've got a little gaucho man. The decorations of these places are all in three different styles. They have the pampa, which is like the farmers and the, the country people. And then we have, and that's what this one is. And then we also have the Patagonia theme, and that's down south. And then also uh, they have the northern kind of jungle Iguazu theme. But ours is in the pampa style. So we actually have our little balcony out here. We get to see some beautiful sunsets from out here. We see the sunset right over here, off of these buildings, too, and there's a pool down here. And so that's the balcony. So this is the kitchen. Um, obviously, we just washed up from having some lunch. Basically, kitchen. It's got all the basic utensils and stuff that you need. This is one of the bathrooms. Kind of nice to have a guest bathroom and then have another bathroom as well. All bathrooms in places that we've been in have had a bidet. I'm not sure what else to say about that. And this is the bedroom. There's actually two twin beds here. And so we pushed them together and made one bed out of it so that Carrie could have her space and I could have my space, but we could still be sort of in the same bed, which actually works out really well for us. But this is kind of the guest room that we've had in the apartment. Take you across over to the master suite over here. And there's the bed. And um, similar sort of open closet look. Each, each side has a uh, lamp by it, which is nice. And the open closet look is different than in the States, but it works out really well. They have these actually really nice little sliding doors, so you can actually use the whole shelf. We're thinking about putting those in 
whenever we build, wherever we build in the future, I'm putting those kind of drawers in. And then here's the master bathroom. And so, full shower, nice little handle thing that goes up here to take a shower with. That's the bathroom. So now we're going to go over to the other unit and check some of those out too. So there are actually three styles of different apartments here at Terrazzo Palermo. And uh, we're going to go see one of the studio apartments now. So the studios are pretty nice. They're less expensive to rent. Um, and if you're just coming here by yourself and you want to entertain some guests, they're actually real nice because you have your bathroom, obviously, with the full kind of shower bathroom. So you have a full kitchen um, with, obviously, all the things that come with a full kitchen. Gas-powered stove and oven and range, all that. Dishes and all the things you would need in the kitchen here. Obviously, you've got a little bar, a place for people to sit, and a place for people to entertain. You've got the bed. Now, this unit you'll actually see is in the ice style, in the southern Argentina style where you've got these um, very kind of icy look. And it actually looks really nice. It makes the space feel much more inviting because it's got more light colors. And, and then obviously you've got the balcony outside. Here we have another studio that's in the other style, um, but it's basically a studio. It's just in the jungle style. And so basically the same shower and bathroom. The only real difference in this one is going to be the color scheme. And you can see it's got more of the jungle colors, the greens and the browns, um, obviously the red curtain. And so just more of a sort of jungly kind of feel, but exactly the same as the other apartment. So now on the back side of the unit here, they actually have these three-story, um, sort of one bedroom, but uh, well, you'll see, we'll, we'll go ahead and show the here as well. These units are actually pretty cool though because you get um, a bedroom up above with a kitchen down below but everything's pretty open. So it would be great for a couple to come and stay in the space and what else. So even just an individual that wanted to do some entertaining, the environment just works really well for that. So on the lower level you have a full kitchen and obviously a table and uh, chairs for having people over to eat dinner and a uh, couch and obviously the front patio. And down here you also have a half bathroom, which is nice just if you know, you've got people over to uh, have dinner or hang out. And so then we head upstairs here. And you have a bedroom basically that overlooks the lower level, but it still provides you with some privacy up here that you wouldn't have if you had a, one of the studios necessarily and had some friends over. And then you've got the full bathroom here as well, with, complete with a towel warmer, which is a very nice feature. Although you probably won't need it in the summertime in Buenos Aires. So all of the units have heating and air conditioning, and they've got Wi-Fi internet access that covers the whole building here. So if you're anywhere in the building, you'll have Wi-Fi internet access. And uh, we've really just enjoyed spending time staying here. So I'm here with David, who's the property manager for uh, Terrazas. What do you think is the best thing about staying here? The building has seven units and it's very close for uh, the restaurants and shopping and places to get dinner and if you want to go out like uh, pubs and a good place to stay in, in Buenos Aires. And also Palermo Soho is the place, is, is, is the, the area where it's uh, the most young people and different commerce and shopping where it's like the shop of, of New York. Now, for that moment, it's the best place to stay in, in, in Buenos Aires. So that's why somebody would want to stay here then, um, because they're obviously close to all of that environment. In the area, yeah. So, well, the building, the building has a swimming pool, the building has a barbecue, also has a laundry service, has a clean service, and the same unit is only for students, so very a very good place to stay. Great, well, thank you very much. You're